a good one out today. What were your, what were your thoughts? Um, yeah, it was a competitive match. Um, they they fielded quite a strong team. Um, you know, we had quite a few individuals who who needed match practice and you know get back to fitness. Um, so I think it was a it was a useful exercise all round, really. Excellent stuff. Uh, and was it pleasing to to get the victory and the clean sheet? Yeah, yeah. It was. Um, I thought there were some really good things in the performance. Um, I feel like the, you know there's little things that you can always improve on, especially when you put a team a team together that they're not used to playing together. But I thought that they, they did a lot of good things. Um, it was pleasing to me that they got the the clean sheet um, and obviously scored the goal, but. Um, like I say the the most important thing was the you know was the process of you know you know playing ninety minutes some of them and, and and getting that match fitness and sharpness into them. I know you mentioned the main focus is the process, but we can't detract from Aaron Lewis's excellent free kick in, in the first half. Were you impressed as we were watching? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was it was excellent. Well, I'm not surprised. He um, he spends you know lots of time on the training ground. As do some of the others practicing free kicks, um, you know. And when he stepped up, I, I felt confident. I turned around to the bench and said, "He's, he's got it in him to do it, and he's, you know, he does it every day in training." So it was, a, it was an excellent finish. It was a bit of a different um, set of opponents to to the Sheffield United game. Uh, we faced some very experienced players there as well. Or, uh, although, um, what? Was it? Were you aiming for a similar outcome today in terms of um, just trusting the process, or was it a case of you had to set up slightly differently in terms of facing what's in front of you? Well, yeah, yeah. You sort of you you, you set up um, ultimately first in in the in the reserve games. Uh, it's more about us in terms of you know playing the way that we we want to play and uh, putting on some of the. Um, Sort of structure to the game that the manager wants on, on how he wants to do it, but like you say, with different personnel comes different challenges. Like we d we didn't have a focal point, so we had to play out from the back, um, which was a good practice, good exercise for us in terms of handling the ball and building building the play. And I thought that there were some really good good things come out of that little tweaks that we could maybe improve. Um, but it's, it, it, th there's lots of things that you're looking for in these games. You know, you want to see the the application. You want to see the effort, the commitment, you know, the desire, and and you know, working for one another, and the the, the competitiveness. Because ultimately, some of those players will be will be pushing the manager, um, and you know, giving him a headache in terms of having to pick the team. And a full ninety minutes for Ben Coker and Michael Boswick. Is there uh, progress on the on the training pitch and the and the match pitch um, going as you'd like? Uh, yeah, yeah. Like I say, it's. Um, you know, there's a, there's a few. Obviously, uh, Ben Coker and uh, and Michael Boswick in terms of in terms of you know playing the first 90 minutes, which is pleasing, and they're both they're both fine after it um, and came through pretty well. Both both played well, so that's that's pleasing. Um, you know, quite a, a number of others played played 90 minutes, um, and you know did some really really pleasing things. And uh, again, just touching back on the games, like I know I know a lot of your thoughts have has been going into the process but it was quite pleasing to see the, the never say die attitude in terms of the defending there was some excellent last ditch blocks and in terms of um, applying themselves and treating it uh, as a as a proper game um, must have been pleasing as well. Yeah it, it's excellent you know we've got a good good group of lads uh, good group of players but you know you know we spoke before the game and said you know I've, I've played in these games before and the harder you work the easier it'll become um, and you know you owe each other that commitment to put it in for whatever reason you're playing, whether it's to get match minutes because you've not been in the team, whether you're on trial, whether you're a young lad looking to impress, or you know you're a senior player who's found himself out of the team looking to impress. So they all have their own goals and reasons why, you know, they were playing in that today. So it's almost like you owe it to everybody else to to give it, you know, the respect that that it deserves. And I think you know I, I didn't expect any different, but the lads did that, and I think you could see. That within, you know, people throwing and throwing the bodies on the line. You know, Aaron Lewis made some great blocks, and so did Bozzy. There was, you know, there was countless occasions that that people were were taking it incredibly serious, and and, and so they should be. And one final one: uh, the lads itching to get back into league football at the weekend. Yeah, yeah, it'd be good. It'd be good. It's been a while. Um, 
but I think I think the break might have done us done us good in terms of managed to get a lot of good work done uh, on the training ground, um, and the boys are in good spirits, and I think um, you know they'll be they'll be hungry for a for a result at the weekend.